Good morning, folks. It's Easter Sunday, March 31st. I think it's day 43. Anyway, we're just breaking camp, heading up the hill. We've got, I think it's only about, we've got a 1500 foot climb, I think, coming up, but we're only doing nine miles today and we'll make it to the hostel. Okay, back to back, 16 and 18. My legs are feeling it this morning. But anyway, that's how it is sometimes. It's a beautiful morning, it's not too cold. And it's Easter Sunday. So I gave her thanks this morning. Bluegrass were out here. Bluegrass and I were out here talking. Out here in nature. Don't think we could be any closer to God than out here. So we will see you up trail. And let me flip this thing around. Let me see, show you what we're starting for with, with for the morning. There you go. This is our trail this morning. Our view starting out. Good way to start at Easter Sunday, huh? Get our Easter Sunday sunrise. Bluegrass already up the hill there. He's recording on his channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And no sooner than I say the sun is rising, that it comes over and just shines right on that hill. Phenomenal view, folks. What a glorious way to start the day. Coming out of the woods, that's a long climb. Trail goes straight up there. You can see it. Well, you can see bluegrass hiking it up there. We gotta go straight to the top of that mountain. And if you look real close up there, yeah, you can see the trail. That's where the trail's going. It's supposed to be some spectacular views up there, so I'll get them when I get up there. Not even up there yet, but the views are so good. I want to show them to you. Imagine when I get into the wind's already starting to kick up, so I imagine when I get up there, the wind's gonna be so loud I won't be able to talk to you. Still climbing, couldn't resist turning around and getting the view. Yesterday when we were talking, we were at that wall way over there. We were talking about we we're gonna follow this ridge line. Sure enough, that's where we're going. We thought that's where we were gonna be. And I recognize where we are as soon as we get past this thicket right here. I'm gonna video a little bit more because I know exactly where we are. I recognize the structure over there that you can't miss. Anybody that's ever been to Blowing Rock or Boone, North Carolina will know what I'm talking about as soon as I show it. So let me get past this thicket and I'll show you. Okay, I promise you I'd show you this. If you'll look way back over there, you'll see a big square building. That is in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. I think that's Appalachian Ski Mountain. Behind that, you got Grandfather Mountain. So I know I can't recognize, can't miss that great big condominium right on top of the mountain up there, but I think they built that and wish they hadn't, but it's there. Somebody's got a beautiful cabin right up in, tucked in there too. Well, we're gonna keep on going. 
All right, coming out of the woods, looking at our next climb. You don't see it yet, but I'm, as soon as I get out of the trees where you can see it, I'm gonna turn the camera. And there it is. We're going to the top of that. And I guess we'll walk the ridge line of it for a while. Wish the camera could capture how big that hill really is. All right, we're getting ready to go up it. That is Hump Mountain. We're at mile 390. And once we get up to the top of that, we'll be at about 5,500 feet elevation. Gonna be a little bit of a climb. those coming up behind me just want to let you know when you're climbing up hump mountain it's a false summit you'll come up to a split rail fence thinking you're at the top you go past that and you look up and you just keep climbing all right we are finally at the summit of hump mountain i got my microphone on so hopefully you can hear me I'm going to do my normal 360. We'll start back here. This is back behind us. Let me zoom in. You might can see a little bit of the trail with it from where we came. All right, now just let me 360. Gonna end up right back at bluegrass. Say hi to everybody, bluegrass. <laughs> this plaque is coming down off of Hump Mountain. We come back down off of them. Our mountains may not be covered in snow, but boy, they're beautiful nonetheless. I can't help myself, folks. Look off in the distance there. 
see a flat rock. I can barely see it's right in the middle of my camera. That's table table rock. That is in Linville. If you watch my Linville Gorge video, that's where I was hiking. That's, that's right at Linville Gorge. That's Grandfather Mountain. I've done it. Got another video that I've not yet put out. I'll put it out when I get through where I did the Grandfather Trail. It's another fantastic trail. It's a short trail. Some people call it the most dangerous hike in North Carolina. I call it the most fun hike in North Carolina. Sorry for the rocking. Hopefully, the stabilization takes in. You just don't get better views than this. We have truly been blessed with a gorgeous day. I know a lot of people come up here, they don't get these kind of views. I know I'm shooting a lot of video, it's gonna make for a long video, but hopefully you appreciate the views like I did. As we go back into the woods, I think we are through with the Rhone Highlands. That was a fantastic journey. Sorry, got a little bit choked up. I think your emotions get a little bit more close to the sleeve as you get out here. Sorry about that. You just marvel at this great country and this great world of ours. What a way to spend Easter Sunday. What do you think, folks? Nice little drop off here, but looking into a beautiful view. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get emotional back there, so I apologize for that. I guess when you come down off of something like that, it makes you realize just how small you are compared to this big old world. And I'd heard that your emotions <clears throat> are strong out here. But it did sneak up on me. <laughs> Makes me wonder if I get that emotional over coming off Rome Mountain, what am I gonna do at Katahdin? Well, let me switch this thing around because I'm coming up on a real pretty part. 
Nothing like what we've seen. Coming off the highlands, but we're back in the mossy areas. And that emerald green moss to me is just gorgeous. We've only got about four miles left for today. And I've told you, after that, we're gonna take about three days off, do a triple zero. So Bluegrass can visit with his wife. She's coming up to visit. I'm gonna bring him some stuff from home just to resupply with. I'll hang out in town and do my thing. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll figure out figure it out. I know I gotta wash some clothes. Resupply for the next leg. Give them some time to themselves. And I think we picked a good time to do a triple zero because from what we're hearing, the weather's gonna turn worse on Tuesday. It's supposed to rain Tuesday night and Wednesday. So a good time to take a zero. Of course, we also hear Thursday's gonna be cold. So we'll be hitting the trail when it's cold which we've done before, no big deal. We've just gotten used to these nice temperatures. Well, I'll quit rattling for now and get off this thing. Wait for the next view. You could see it back in there's a flying squirrel back there hopefully you could hear him christmas tree farm back here the trail smoothed out for us now so maybe we can make some miles All right, folks, I knew we were gonna get this sometime. I didn't know it was today, but we are through with North Carolina. We won't be seeing it again until I'm ready to go home. So heading into Tennessee for a while, we'll be staying strictly in Tennessee. Then we'll hit Virginia. A Little bit of a steep descent that we've had to go through. This wasn't the worst one, but still thought it'd be a good one to show you coming down off these rocks. <laughs> That's what we just came off of. Got another bridge here. I love the way these things are put together. Just a small creek. Nothing really fantastic. No rushing water. But do love that bridge. About a half mile from Highway 19E. We're gonna stay at the 19E Hostel tonight. Then we're gonna go into Johnson City, Tennessee. And as I told you earlier, 
We're gonna take a few days off. I'll see what there is to see in Johnson City. If I find some neat stuff there, I'll video it. And we'll see it. But you may see a couple days where I don't have anything posted. Just keep an eye out to see what see what happens, because I don't know myself. Right here at Highway 19E, got a little bridge going across the creek. You see the road up here. Got to walk back that way to get to the road crossing, but we have pretty much made it. I don't know how much further it is, so if it's right up here, the hostel may be the next video you see. Hey guys, we just came up on 19E. Marsha recognized us and she came up and she's going to give us a ride to the hostel. So bless her and thank her for being here. It's perfect time. <laughs> so we'll get back to you when we get back to the hostel. Okay, guys, I've taken a shower and feel almost human again. So I'm going to give you guys a tour inside the 19E hostel so you guys can see it. And then I'll step outside and show you what the outside looks like. Okay, you got one bed in there. This is where Bluegrass and I are staying for the night. Got some more beds in here. A lot of bunks in here. A lot of places to stay. Go down the stairs here. Got more beds up here. More beds down there, as you can see. kitchen area with the hiker box food there if, if you need it those stuff that people have dropped off over time get bathrooms here here got a little kitchen area in here not much in there yeah not much everybody signs a wall People do artwork. We got loner clothes back there, towels. And we got sassafras sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna step outside and show you guys the outside. This is standing on the balconies of Highway 19E Hostel. They even got a little family in here. See if you can see in there. Got a little, little family of kittens in there. It's a motorcycle, so let's go on out here so you guys can see the outside. If I can get down these stairs without busting my tail. And there comes the mama kitty to come see me. She's very friendly. Yeah. here owner's name is JT he and his wife run it and I'm sorry I forgot her name I will remember it in a little while I'm horrible with names but here's the hostel it's a nice little place they got a little cafe down in the bottom I think we're gonna go eat there in a little bit laundry's down in the bottom down that direction and we'll be in there in a minute as soon as everybody finishes the showers we want to get some of the some of the trail stink off first. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we're at Highway 19E at the hostel and getting some food. I got the fish and chips. Look at that brat down there. Oh my goodness! So yeah. got him a brat. <laughs> Look at here. You got sassafras. You got gadget down there. And of course, we got bluegrass over here too. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. And your name again? Crazy Wolf. Crazy Wolf. And there's JD. JD, JD, the owner. Yes, That's sir. the owner right here. So we're enjoying ourselves, having ourselves a little bit of dinner, and we will get back to you a little while later. Uh, 
Hey guys, while we're in here, I just wanted to show you guys who we picked up. Here's Jenny from Hiking with Jenny. Make sure you turn to her channel. You've seen that. Of course, you've seen Soap before, the Ventures with Soap. Woo! And now you got over here, this is the Kali Lama. Kali Lama. He's from Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii. So we've seen him. So, yeah, you guys can check out some of these channels. And, you know, Soap is Adventures with Soap. Again, don't look it up on Google. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> and Jenny, you've met Jenny before, but look at her. Look at Hiking with Jenny. Look her up on YouTube.